Hallelujah. Can we just love him? Can we stand and love him tonight? Come on. Let's usher the spirit of God in this house. Tonight. Hallelujah. 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 We love you, Jesus. Come on, just love on him right now. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. You're worthy, God. You're worthy of all the praise, God. You're worthy of all the praise tonight, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
exalt his name. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name. For who is like our Lord and King? His glory and his fame is exalted above the Hallelujah. There's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like Jesus. Come on, somebody. There's nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. He's my Jesus. He's my Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I told Brother and Sister Lambert uh, Friday night I went to a prayer revival, and God healed me. I've had... Hallelujah. Had a uh, problem with my sciatic nerve in my right leg for probably six years or so. It's been a long time. I've been to chiropractors, and I finally just give up and said, well, if God don't heal me, it's something I'm going to have to live with because I'm not going to get cut on. They did x-rays, and they said my disc is fine. It's not collapsed and pinching the nerve. And 
And I stand there with my hand lifted. And God took the pain. And I give him the glory. He's still a prayer answering God. He still works miracles. Come on, somebody. There's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like Jesus. There's nobody like Jesus. Hallelujah. It got so bad, and I drive for a living. It got so bad I couldn't press on the gas pedal because it would be in so much pain. I'd have to drive with my left foot. But God healed me. I'm so great. Hallelujah. 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 That's that's my Jesus. That's my Jesus. Hallelujah. You come too late to say there's no God. You come too late to say that God's not real. You come too late to say that God don't heal. Come on, son. God is so good. Come on, just love him one more time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Nobody greater. Well, nobody greater. Hallelujah. Oh, you serving the great one tonight. Hallelujah, my God. It's all about him. It's all in him. It's the mighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Somebody lift him up tonight. Somebody praise him. Oh, hallelujah, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Woo! Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Look at somebody. Tell him, ain't nobody greater. Hallelujah. Ain't nobody greater. Ain't nobody greater. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what, nobody greater than he is. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He'll be everything you let him be. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You may be seated tonight. Hallelujah. Glory. Nobody greater. No situation greater. No problem greater than he is. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is good. Praise the Lord. I appreciate you worshiping tonight. Hallelujah. There was one that I was watching that was blessing my heart. Praise God. Vincent, I tell you, God's going to use that young man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Walking with his hands in the air. Worshiping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A desire to serve God. A desire to serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Appreciate everybody. Hallelujah. What a beautiful day today. Hallelujah. Praise God, I tell you, it was just so beautiful. Made it hard to stay in and study. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I hung on. Praise the Lord. And I praise God. If you have your Bibles tonight, let's open to Revelations 12 and verse 11. Revelations 12 and 11. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's remember this Wednesday night that uh, we have two preachers flying in from Oklahoma. Praise God, just over the line. Hallelujah. They've been trying to keep Oklahoma cool, and they're going to come cool us. Praise God. It's going to fire us up. Hallelujah. Revelations 12 and 11. We've always, we all heard these scriptures. And just could not get away from them. And the Bible said, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. For a little while tonight, I want to preach a message. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Can I get a witness? Glory to God. You may be seated tonight. Hallelujah. If you back up a little bit in reading you realize that they were fighting a dragon. And the dragon always represents the devil. Praise the Lord. But you know what? The devil didn't win. I said the devil didn't win. Hallelujah. 
no matter how much he puffs, no matter how much he does, hallelujah, the church always wins. Hallelujah, the church is going to win. Praise the Lord. I got a witness, praise God. Not long ago, I was driving down the road and I was on the hill looking down toward the four-way stop and all of a sudden there was an awful collision at the four-way. Someone was turning and someone didn't stop. Someone just, just ran right on through like they didn't see a stop sign, hit them right in the side. But you know what? I was a witness. Hallelujah. They always say if you witness it, stay around so you can make sure the truth's being told because a lot of times people that were in the wrong try to blame the ones that was in the right and try to change the story, try to change the way it looked. But to say that, to say this tonight, that's why God calls us witnesses in our hour because the enemy wants to change the story. The enemy wants to change the story. But God's got some witnesses tonight that say, wait a minute. That ain't the way it happened. That ain't the truth, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what, can I get a witness tonight? Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. You see, the enemy wants to change the story, but you know what? We know the truth. I'm going to tell you, and the enemy's scared that there's going to be a witness to let somebody know what the truth is. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Praise God. They overcame by their blood of the Lamb and their testimony. The witness, a witness, a witness, a witness. Praise God. You know what the enemy scared of the most of anything in this world? Is somebody being a witness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because he deals in lies. He deals in deception. He deals in, 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 in confused, being confusing people. But you know what? Where there's a witness. Praise God. I'm a witness. You're a witness. Hallelujah. We're a witness to the glory of God. We're a witness that God can save. We're a witness that God can deliver. We're a witness no matter what the enemy does, that God can bring you out. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to call on some of you in a little while, and I want you to be ready. I want you to be I want you to pop off what God's done for you, what God brought you. You better be ready. Praise. I'm warning you. I am pastors warning you because, listen, it's very important that you have a witness, a testimony, what God's done for you because somebody needs to hear it. Somebody needs to know out there that's lonely that God can help you, that God can touch you, that God can bring you out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you, I've heard so many stories about people telling people about Jesus Christ. I heard story after story. My goodness, just somebody talking about where God brought them from that brought up hope in somebody else's lives. You don't know the power of your testimony. You don't know the power of your words letting somebody that's bound, somebody that's down. No, there's a way out. There's a way out. There's a way out. The enemy can't do nothing about the blood. He can't do nothing about the blood, but he tries to stop your testimony. A silent saint's testimony is, is so sad because there's power in your testimony. Praise God. Telling people, listen, I know, listen, I know you might be, your marriage might, anybody ever had your marriage messed up? I, my marriage was messed up and I needed help. You know what? And you know what? God helped and put it all back together and put it, it's all whole together. I'm going to tell you what. You tell somebody that's struggling in their marriage, hey, listen, I know it looks 
looks bad. I know that the pen is ready for the paper to sign, but let me tell you what God can do if you'll let him. I'm going to tell you what, friend, the witness, how God can put your marriage back together. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, God put my marriage back together. He put my life back together. He put my family back together. I'm going to tell you what. Oh, what a mighty God. Oh, what a mighty God. You tell people, listen. God can forgive you of any sin. You see, so many people think they went so far. They've been too bad. But you know what? There ain't nobody been better than I have. But you know what? If he can save me, hallelujah, I've got a story to tell them. Hallelujah. You know what? There ain't drugs. There ain't anything that the enemy has that God can't deliver them of. But you know what? You are the witness. Hallelujah. The enemy's trying to tell them you can't get free. The enemy's trying to tell them you can't get forgiven. The enemy's trying to tell them there's no hope for you. But all of a sudden, a witness steps on the scene. A witness. Did you witness? Yes, I can tell you. Listen, I've seen what God can do. I've been in a church a long time. I've seen the impossible things. I've seen God do things that will blow your mind. And you know what? All of a sudden, hope springs up. People believe, hey, listen, if God can do it for him, maybe God can do it for me. Maybe God can do it for my family. Family. Maybe God can do it for my children. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what. They overcame him. They overcame him. That right off the bat, it lets me know, listen, you can overcome. <laughs> you can overcome. Don't listen to what the enemy says. Hallelujah. Yes, problems come. Yes, situations come. Yeah, there's times you just get always upset. But listen, you can overcome this world. You can overcome the enemy. You can overcome the trials. You can overcome the temptations. You can. Listen. Praise God. Because you've got a testimony. Praise God. How many people you work with? Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty three, twenty four people in here, grown ups. Twenty four grown ups got a testimony to tell so twenty four other people of hope. And all of a sudden, there's twenty four people that the enemy's telling a lie to. That you're breathing in hope. You're t- the Bible says, always be ready to give a report. Always be ready. Let them know. Listen, th- th- there was nobody that had such a testimony as Sister Lindsay. Sister Lindsay had a testimony. And I'm going to tell you, the enemy hated that testimony. Because he wants people to think, once you get on drugs, you're always going to be a drug addict. You're always going to be a nothing. But you know what? She proved that you can be delivered. She proved there is a God. She was a witness. She was a witness. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what. Maybe you wouldn't know drugs. But some of you have been delivered from some hateful things, some ugly things, some horrible things things hallelujah and the world's out there waiting for somebody to come shine a light shine a light hallelujah i'm telling you what can i get a witness i believe heaven's saying can i get a witness people on your job my goodness listen there's nothing no greater you're getting paid to be there they can't run away from you. Goodness. Hallelujah. They say, man, listen, is there anything I can do? I got a t- witness to tell you. I got a testimony to tell you. Let me tell you what God's done for me. Hallelujah. Them people, th- them people down at that air-conditioned place, my goodness, three of y'all there, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, are to be shaking that place up. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's not about what's coming in from a drunk weekend, but what God's doing. Hallelujah. Listen, the world's looking for an answer. The world's looking. You've got to get your hand off your mouth. You've got to stand up and say, listen, look what the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. He saved me just in time. See, the dragon don't want that. A silenced church 
is a sleeping church that never messes up anything. But oh, when you're going around town, that's my little sister back there with a firecracker. She's a firecracker. My goodness. Hallelujah. She don't get that mic and get up here and cry about what's going on. She begins to tell you what God's going to do for her. What God's going to do for her. What God's going to do for her. Hallelujah. My Lord. Can anybody get a witness? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can just feel the Spirit of God coming off in her. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, can I get a witness? Witness. Hallelujah. Most of us in church tonight because somebody witnessed to us. Praise God. I said most of us in church tonight because somebody witnessed to us. Somebody told us that God could help us. Somebody told us that God could change things. Somebody told us that there's hope for us. Hallelujah. You see, that's what the enemy is so scared of. Praise God. We can overcome, church. We can overcome. We got the blood. Listen, the enemy's scared of the blood. You plead the blood. You tell Satan the blood of Jesus against you. You use the blood, but you don't quit there. Don't stop just using the blood. Use the blood and your testimony. Use the blood and your a testimony. Hallelujah. Then the enemy go and try to, to do something with your life. Try to, to pull you by things, the cares of life. But I'm going to tell you what, when you're dead to the things of the world, it doesn't work. Hallelujah. You know what? It's only when you're alive to the things of the world, the enemy has tools. But I'm going to tell you, if you're going to be an overcomer, you got to have the blood, you got to have the testimony, and you hallelujah. <clears throat> now listen hallelujah now I can't tempt Dusty with a lot of things praise God only thing I can really tempt him with is, is a four wheel drive truck huh can I tempt you with that paid for new is it feeling better praise God I can't, I can't tempt him with stuff he doesn't like but if, it, he's, if he's dead to those things, though, anything the enemy use will not work because he's dead to them things. He's under the blood. He's keeping his testimony. Praise God. And he don't love his life to death. I'm going to tell you what. You can't be so in love with you that you're not willing to be what God wants you to be. When I came to Jesus, you know what I did? I died at that altar. I died at the altar. I, I said, Elton Lambert, I surrendered to God. I give it all. I died. And I'm going to tell you what. I got a testimony where God brought me out of. I got a testimony what God's done for me. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, listen, they overcame him. Ain't that right, AJ? Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Praise God. The devil had a plan for him. I said the devil had a plan for him. Had seeds sitting there. Had people telling me, just let him crash and burn. He ain't just let him burn, crash and burn. But I said, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We don't have to go that route. We don't have to go to crash and burn. We can go surrender and live. We can go to surrender and serve God. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what. I appreciate AJ tonight. I see some some growth in him. I see some change in him. I see a will of God in his life. Hallelujah. But you know what? The enemy tried to stop him, but he's got a testimony. He can tell somebody else. It don't matter what people say about you. You know what? It don't matter what people say about you. It's what you say about yourself. Praise God. It's what you say about you, AJ. AJ, you can be anything you want to be. Doesn't matter your father-in-law makes fun of you. He's just as about as short as you are anyway. The only one tall in that family is Lisa. <laughs> only reason she's taller because she, she was in quizzing. 
When you quiz, it makes you taller. When you study the Bible, it makes you taller. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what, friend. Hallelujah. You see, people will give up on you. I said people will give up on you. But God won't give up because he said, listen, I've got a testimony coming out of him. I've got a testimony coming out of him. Hallelujah. Praise God. What God kept him from. Hallelujah. Where God's taking him. Glory. Testimony. Hallelujah. Praise God. Ain't that right, Kobe? <clears throat> Praise God. Let me help his testimony. Let me help him. We started the church back in 2002, 2003. Praise God. All we had was the McCaneys, the Hensons. <laughs> Praise God. It was called Bring Your Own Song. Praise God. Dance with the greatest groups. Hallelujah. Kobe, he couldn't play nothing. He couldn't sing. He, he thought he could sing bass, and he's going around going. Rrr, 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 rrr. I said, baby, that's good, but that's not bass. That's growling. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you know what? One night, one day, we called him up. We anointed his throat. We anointed his hands. Hallelujah. Someone that going for can't play heart, nothing. All he can know how is to shoot a basketball. Praise God. He wouldn't even worry about girls. Praise all he did. He, he, I think he loved the basketball more than he loved girls. I was worried about him. Hallelujah. Don't he find to come out he looks like a basketball now praise God hallelujah but you know what God anointed him God anointed him anointed his throat all of a sudden he started playing the piano and he went for the piano he played the drums and played the drums and played the guitar hallelujah I'm going to tell you what friend hallelujah then God gave him an anointed wife helped him also hallelujah I'm going to tell you what the testimony. Listen, you maybe you feel like you ain't got no talent. Maybe you feel like you can't play or sing. But I'm going to tell you what. All you got to do is get some prayer on you. Get some oil on you. Get some anointing on you. Hallelujah. My Lord. Hallelujah. He couldn't do it. He didn't walk around and say, I can't do it. He kept trying. Kept trying. I'm going to tell you what. Can't never couldn't do anything. But if you get in your mind, I'm going to get prayer. I'm going to make I'm going to do it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Ain't that right, Brother Tom? Yes. Hallelujah. Testimony. Hallelujah. Where God brought him from. Hallelujah. Just an old rotten, hard-headed guy going down the road on a motorcycle running from God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Had a wreck. Put him down for a while. God said, I'm going to work on him. I'm going to work on him. And you know what? Oh, hallelujah. He went to a church. Hallelujah. And began to feel the presence of God. Glory to God. And all of a sudden, something inside of him says, man, I got to have more of this. I got to have more of this. Hallelujah. And God changed their lives. My Lord put in desire to do a work for him. Him. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you what. Listen, all of us, we weren't born with a silver spoon in our mouth. But you know what? When God saved us and God brought us out, he put something in us. He put something in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was going to evangelize. I gave him a trailer. Tell him, go, bro. I said, when you go out that gate... I said, you keep going straight and swing wide. Praise God. Hallelujah. He went out the gate, but he didn't swing wide. 
drug that trailer down side that pole, ripped all that down to the side. Praise God. Did it stop him? No. Did Pete cry? No. Pete kept singing his song. Got him another trailer. Hallelujah. Went evangelizing. Hallelujah. Because you didn't do it right and messed up. Don't mean it so. Don't you understand? Hallelujah. You know what chaps the enemy? When you mess up and you get up and you mess up and you get up. Hallelujah. Every time you get up, you're letting the enemy know. I got a, I got a testimony. I got a testimony. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, Jacob come to me wanting to get married. Yeah. Hallelujah. Found the love of his life. My, all I saw was stars in his eyes. Oh, hallelujah. He ready to get married. Praise God. And you know what? I put them on hold for a little while. Praise God. I'm checking their spirit. Praise God. Because sometimes you got to check some things. Glory to God. And once you pass the test, hallelujah, we headed on out to get married. Praise God. Three children later, hallelujah, still sitting on pew, praise God, preaching, serving the Lord, singing, hallelujah, praise God, hallelujah. There's times I want to wring his neck, praise God, because I know God's got more for him. I know there's more he can do, but uh, hallelujah. But like a lot of us, we'll sit back and put it on cruise and just cruise a while. But you know what? You got to take it off cruise, and you got to put your pedal to the metal. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what. I see God working in him. Hallelujah. They talking about these guys on that job. My Lord, you're going to look around, and we're going to have 15, 20 air-conditioned men in here and their families. Why? Because somebody, hallelujah, is a witness. Somebody is a witness. Hallelujah. Ain't that right, Dusty? Yes. He's still Dusty. <laughs> uh. Yes. Praise God. Glory. Dusty. Dusty used to be very shy. You wouldn't know it by now. He was so shy. We're driving down the road in my truck. I scream, I slam the brakes, and I hit the seat with my hand. This man never moved. Listen, most of the times it freaked people out. But he was so back in them woods. I had a hard time trying to get. But then he got around Kobe. And they started cutting up. And you know what? He seen him come out of that shell. I seen him come to balloon to be a, a great young man wanting to serve God. Hallelujah. Wanting to do something for God. Always going around here trying to help do whatever. I'm going to tell you what. That's a testimony. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Got a witness. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy brother feels. Praise God. Come on. Come on.
<laughs> That's her. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Stand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Brother Tom preached a Sunday ago. Esme was at school chapel. It's, it's one thing, you don't give a mic to a Lambert. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> I tell you what, she, whew, she's beginning to tell about Rilla Tom preaching, talking about you can have the bell or you can have the chains. You can have the bell, you can have the victory, or you can have the bondage. And she began to tell him, listen, she wanted the bell. And she began to shake. It wasn't even her hand out there, but she shook it again, praise God, and began to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God, uh, you don't understand when you begin to tell these people, those young kids about things, uh, it sticks in their lives. It sticks in, just like Vincent walking along here while ago. He would just walk. He had his eyes closed. Uh, he raising his hands. Uh, he's going to have a testimony. He's going to have a testimony. Hallelujah. My Lord, I'm going to have a testimony. I never smoked a cigarette. I never drank a beer. I never took a pill. I, hallelujah. I'm going to tell you, sometimes it's not what God delivered you of. It's what God kept you from. Hallelujah. I, I appreciate all those that come from somewhere, but I appreciate all those that stayed and didn't go anywhere, that kept the things of God, that held on the things of God. Hallelujah. Ain't that right, Sister Lambert? Somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He took a drunk Catholic, taking his kids to a revival at a Pentecost church. And he dropped them off and he's sitting out in his truck. Now, if you didn't know Swear, he was a character. He said, I'm going to go see what they're doing. And he said he laid his cigarettes up on the dash. And he went in and he sat in the balcony. But God knew where he was. He said, it was crazy. He said, I was drunk. God sobered me up. God forgave me and filled me with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. And God put him on our trail. For our goodness, I'm going to tell you the testimony. Hallelujah. Glory. Ain't that right, Matthew? Come on. Yes. Praise the Lord. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. Lisa, come up to the music tonight. Listen, every one of us got a testimony, a witness. Hallelujah. And God, lead us to fields that are ready to harvest. Praise God. I'm going to tell you what. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, tell somebody. 
got to tell somebody, got to tell somebody, got to tell somebody what the Lord's done for me. I got to tell somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you what. You give hope to people when you tell them where God brought you from. You give hope to those that are hurting when you tell someone what God's done. Hallelujah. You see, the enemy wants to steal your testimony. He wants to steal your testimony. But you know what? Hallelujah. The woman, the woman that was in a, 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 that was caught, the woman that was married married five times. I think, oh no, the woman was at the well married five times. I like, I like the ending of her story. When the Lord had done a work in her life, she went back to the city where she came from. And she told them all, come and meet a man that told me all that I ever did. Now, in the Bible, they, they all came out to see because of her. They, they let it know because of what she said. We came because of what she said. But now we're here because we heard it ourselves. You know what? They'll come on what you said. But when they get here, they'll find out for themselves and hear themselves. They overcame. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Somebody needs to hear from you. Somebody needs to hear from you. I made it through. I made it through the storm. I made it through that financial problem. A witness as we all stand tonight. See, God's calling us. He gives us power to become witnesses. Power to be witnesses. The enemy's scared. He's so afraid you're going to tell somebody. He's so afraid you're going to tell somebody this is the way. This is the way. Walk therein. This is the way. The most dangerous thing is, is a silent testimony. As they begin to play tonight, I, I just want you right where you are. I want you to just close your eyes and I want you to think what God's done for you. I want you to think of all the things God's done for you. Times He blessed you when you wasn't worth blessing. Times He kept you. When you needed him to help you. Times you cried out and he said, I'm right here. As they begin to play, I just want you to just reach out to God. I want to be that witness. Look what the Lord has done. Oh, yes. Look what, what the Lord, Lord has, has done. done. He healed my body. He touched my mind. Ooh. He saved me. Just Whoa. in time, I'm gonna praise His name. Each day, He's just, just the same. Well, come on and praise come Him. On. Look what the Lord well, has done. Come on. Look what the, the Lord has done. Look what the Lord has done. He healed my body. He
tell you if you'll start telling everybody there'll be such a pull and a draw from the hand of God hallelujah I mean the whole town came out the whole town came out when she said come and see a man that told me all that I ever did is it not the Christ you know what? There's somebody hurting that needs to hear from you. There's somebody that's lost and bound that needs to hear from you. There's somebody that's on drugs that need to hear from you. Hallelujah. The, the world tell them, well, you're an alcoholic and you'll always be an alcoholic. You're a drugger and you'll always be a drugger. But you know what? They need to hear what I used to be. I ain't no more. What I used to be, I ain't no more. Hallelujah. A witness. And that man got out of that truck. He was wanting to tell us some other way than what it was. I can step up and say, well, sir, that ain't what happened. You know what? Don't let the enemy tell the story. Let God be the author and the finisher. Praise the Lord. Lord, we come to you tonight. We've been silent too long. We've been quiet too long, Lord. 
the enemy's tried to rob our testimony. But you know what, Lord? We're going to get our testimony back. We're going to tell everybody. We're going to tell everybody, Lord, what the Lord's done. Lord, we ask tonight, God, to go with us from this place, God. Go with us, Lord. Go with us on our jobs. Go with us at the Walmart. Go with us at the store. Go with us down the road in our car. Go with us, Lord. Lead us to somebody that we can tell them about your goodness. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's remember Wednesday night service. Hallelujah. If they can catch that plane out of Oklahoma. Praise God and make it here. Glory. Hallelujah. He's got that business suit on up there. Praise God. Hallelujah. He's after God's business. Two brother-in-laws going to be preaching Wednesday night. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. They both about the same height. One looks a little better than the other one. <laughs> Appreciate them. Y'all be dismissed tonight in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.